Hey there, Vigs. Welcome to day one of the 10 day do something challenge. If you're just now stumbling on this video, you didn't see the intro, you're not sure what this is all about. Um, I'll put the link to the intro video down in the description. Feel free to go back and watch that. You can watch that first and then come back, or you can totally just go through day one with this and then go back and catch the intro later. Completely up to you. Um, Today's challenge is called the to-do list timeout. Now, a lot of what we do in Beneath the Fig Tree is kind of shifting up our mindsets a little bit, kind of getting out of some of those um, constraints of just wrong thinking, really. And so <laughs> I could say that I want to shift our mindsets about a timeout or about our to-do list. And really, I do want us to think differently about our to-do list. Um, but anyway, just hang with me. Mostly it's called to-do list timeout because I couldn't think of anything wittier and I didn't want to keep you all day just trying to figure that part out. So let's get this going. How many times have you set aside some time full intention. You got your coffee ready, you got your Bible ready, you got your journal, you're sat down, the kids are off to school so it's going to be quiet and you're ready to, to have your quiet time. And you're reading the Bible and all of a sudden Mr. To-Do List is whispering in your ear, oh don't forget the thing, oh don't forget you have to pick up Sue early because we have a dentist appointment today, oh don't forget we need to go pick up the laundry, nah, 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 right? And it's so frustrating because you're trying, you're like, no, no, I'm going to focus. I'm going to read. I'm, I'm not listening to that right now. No, I'm going to do this. And then you keep reading and you keep reading and it's, and in comes Mr. To-Do List with all these little things that he wants you to do. And oh my goodness, the frustration. <laughs> So we're going to turn that around just a little bit. Now, I'm not going to ask you to put, have a quiet time on your to-do list. You can, if, if that helps you. But I actually have a whole other teaching on why we don't want to consider our quiet time or doing quiet time to be something that we check off of our list because it, it really kind of messes with our, um, it just keeps us from getting the most out of our quiet time. We'll just say that. But here's what we do want to do. Instead of fighting Mr. To-Do List, we're actually going to make him a part of our quiet time. So here's what we're gonna do. When you sit down to plan out what all you're gonna be doing today, just take a moment and ask God what he has planned for you today. Dishes, yep. Shopping, okay. Vacuuming, all right, put it on there. Anything else? Okay, once your to-do list is complete, then I want you to stop and I want you to ask God for a verse or a thought to focus on throughout the day. And we're going to add that to the top of your to-do list. And then we're going to take that to-do list with us throughout the day. So each time that you mark a chore or an errand off of your to-do list, I want you to take a second and look back up at the verse or the, the thought that God gave you for that day and just read through it. And you might even, if you have a second, you might even ask him, what do you want to say to me about this today? Either way, we're just going to keep working through the day, carrying that list with us, and each time we knock something off the list, we're going to go back up and just go back through and read the verse or the thought, the thing that he wanted us to focus on for today. So then by the end of the day, not only have you accomplished your list, or hopefully most of it anyway, <laughs> because for me, the list keeps growing and I can never get it all done. But by the end of the day, you've completed a big chunk of your list, hopefully all of it, and you've done it with God at the forefront all day long. And so this is just kind of a training your brain to just tune in super quick. Is this a traditional quiet time? Absolutely not. Is it still spending time with God? Of course it is. You're having conversation with God throughout the day. It's a little bit like when you go to work at the office and or the classroom or wherever you work, you go to work for the day, but every now and then you think of your husband or you think of your kiddo or you think of your friend and you just shoot them over a quick text. Hey, just thinking about you, yada, yada, yada. The same thing. This is still having conversation with God throughout the day. And another thing that it's doing, whether you realize it or not, is it's actually starting to train your heart to point toward Him. It's going to start getting you in the habit of pointing your heart and your soul 
in the direction of God so that you're thinking about him more. Super easy way to do it. One last thought about the Mr. To-Do List. I actually would suggest, and you can do it and see if it works for you and maybe you won't, but I would actually keep your to-do list with you when you sit down to have what you would normally call your quiet time. If you're going to sit and, and read your Bible, if you're going to journal, you're going to pray, I would actually go ahead and keep Mr. To-Do List right there with you so that while you're reading the Bible and he starts whispering things at you, just go ahead and take a second and jot it down. The thing is, God doesn't mind if you go ahead and jot that down because he knows that. He, he knows that if you're fighting your will to um, tune that out and focus on scripture, it's actually more of a frustration. And then you start to have more angst about the next time that you're going to have a quiet time because you feel like you have failed. You didn't fail. Just have the to-do list. Go ahead and jot it down because then what happens? Then Mr. To-Do List shuts up about that task, and then you can focus. Will he come back with another one? Yeah, possibly. Just jot it down real quick. You spend way less time, way less focus, just going ahead and jotting down the thing that comes to mind right then than you do if you try to just fight it so that you can focus. So just add the to-do list to your quiet time, and then, then it's easy. Then you can just jot it down and move on. All right, Figs, that's day one. I would love to hear how it went. Now, I did promise you that I'm not checking for your homework, but it does help me to know, like, I love hearing your stories. I love when you have those aha moments with God where you're like, this is so freeing, or this is so fun, or this worked for me. It helped so much. So, Feel free to comment down below and let me know, or if you're getting the emails on the fix list, then feel free to just hit a reply and sit it there too. Also, make sure to hit the red subscribe button, which is down somewhere, and the little bell, hit the bell, and that means that you'll get all of the notifications when a new video drops. Oh, and if you want to get the emails that go along with these videos, sometimes they'll have extra little downloads or, or um, resources to go with them just to help you. You won't have to have them to get a lot out of these videos, but it can be the extra little thing. So if you want to get those, um, the link for the fix list will be down below. Just fill that out real quick and send it over and you'll start getting those too. All right, see you soon, fix.